What was the weirdest or creepiest neighbor you had? When I was 7. Our next door neighbor came pounding on our front door to scream at and threaten to kill my dad because our pet that we kept in our backyard was being too loud. The pet was a rabbit. A rabbit. Well. You can only put up with so many WhatsApp docs before you crack. When my sister and I were about 5 and 6. We lived in a small town community, about 600 people, and we would frequently play outside without parental supervision. Our neighbor would, unbeknownst to our mother, take us to the local ice cream shop for ice cream. One day we moved without explanation. Years later it was told to us that that neighbor was a registered sex offender and pedophile and mom moved for our safety. She freaked out when she learned about our trips to the ice cream shop. To my knowledge neither me or my sister were ever assaulted. But it is still very scary to think about. My former neighbor's son. He was a big time drug addict. He was constantly arguing with his elderly mother and there have been more than a few times that the cops have been called on him. There was one occasion when I was 16 and my friend was 13 and he was trying to lure us over to his house. Luckily we did not go. When I was a little girl. Like 10. I had this grown man neighbor that spanked me every time I saw him when I was playing outside. Just one swift slap. Like. Daily. It was obviously only when my parents weren't around. But it was incredibly inappropriate. So maybe not creepy so much as pedophile why. But still. Pedophile why is creepy. Growing up there was a middle aged lady. Lived across the road. With her young daughter. Every day I'd see her walk down the road carrying two large laundry bags. And later she'd return with them. Did this almost every day. I was curious how just the two of them needed to do so much laundry. So frequently. Years later my mum told me the lady had been a refugee from Nazi Germany. She was terrified she'd leave the house and the Nazis would raid it when she was out. So she carried all of her clothes with her. Always. Everywhere. That's actually really sad. Sounds like she suffered from PTSD or another form of trauma. When I was little our neighbor robbed my dad at gunpoint. He was caught and went to prison. When he got out and moved back to his house down the road. I was terrified. My dad tried to reassure me but I had nightmares until he moved on a couple of years later. When we moved in. He came over to tell us the house had previously burned down twice. News to us. Got the feeling he wanted to sort of brag about how he saved people from the fires. Then a few years later after leaving our garage door open we found our stored grill with all the unlit burners on and a bit of burnt paper sitting underneath. He's since disappeared, moved or dead. IDK. But we lock up our propane now. Next door neighbor had a corvette and one night I awoke to flashing lights and a squad car on his lawn. I assumed someone had been caught stealing the car and went back to bed. Another neighbor asked me the next day if I knew what happened. I said I assumed someone was caught stealing the car and the other neighbor told me that the guy's girlfriend committed suicide. The next day the couch was sitting on the lawn with a blood stain on it and stayed there for a couple of days. The neighbor moved out shortly after. Several years later the district attorney stopped by our house and asked us if we were friends with the neighbor which we said no as we only had just moved in. We said you are talking about the guy whose girlfriend committed suicide. He said it definitely was not suicide. I lived in an apartment building and would hear weird scratching at my door like someone was trying to get in at night. Then someone knocking at my door. I answered that exactly two times because the dude terrified me. He would show up wearing nothing but an open bathrobe and wanted to just talk. I actually called the cops the second time he knocked and gave them the whole story. A 20 yo girl living on her own and some middle aged man trying to get into her apartment? Scary. The cops and landlady must have worked together to get that guy to back off cause after calling the cops he stopped coming by. Me and my flatmates used to live in a tenement before we moved this year to a different area. Our flat was the one on the ground floor and the tenement had a small community garden that was right in front of our living room. 
We couldn't eat lunch or even watch TV without seeing through the corner of our eyes one of our old neighbors watching us. And they wouldn't even pretend they weren't watching. It was really creepy. At the end of our second week though we agreed we would always keep the blinds down. We never lifted them till we left. Hope the new tenants know how to deal with the old bats. Not really had any super weird ones. The only one tat spring to mind is Ray. When I was young. At Christmas and New Year's it was traditional for a few of the households down to road to meet at one house. Then move on to other houses throughout the day and evening. Often the final house would be Jill and Ray's by which time all the adults had had a few drinks. Jill loved entertaining. Ray wasn't such a fan. So when he decided he'd had enough for the night. He'd get changed into his pyjamas then come back downstairs with his toothbrush. Brush his teeth in the kitchen sink and then head back upstairs. We all knew there was a bathroom upstairs. My old downstairs neighbor would get blackout drunk and watch PRN on his massive T. V. With the volume on 11. He would have all the windows and doors open. So the whole apartment would have to hear C. He would get blackout drunk and pass out in the walkways. He got blackout drunk. Left for the club at 7 in the evening. And came home at 8 in a cop car with no shoes. Another time he got blackout drunk and accused me of sleeping with his girlfriend. On the plus side. He got blackout drunk and brought home Mexican food a lot. And he would always give me some. So that was nice. So you're trying to tell me that he gets blackout drunk? In grad school I lived next to a marijuana grow house. They kept a dog chained up outside 100% of the time in the backyard. They would come by once every couple days to work and feed the dog. But that's it. Another neighbor wanted to give the dog some blankets on a particularly cold night and hop the fence. They had eyes on the house and two cars came screaming into the driveway minutes later. No violence or anything. She just put the blankets in the doghouse and gave them a little piece of her mind. The whole situation was pretty lame sketchy sad. A guy who just goes outside and stands in our shared woods, big closer to our property line than his own house, and snaps twigs for hours. Every. Day. Sometimes even at night and the pitch black. Shht drives me nuts. I swear there was a reddit post about a person's dad who would go every day into the woods behind their house with headphones and just snap twigs all day. I think it was something with PTSD or something. It's not that weird but it's current. I think a neighbor is ripping cutting our wires that connect to our home electricity. Leave the power on. My upstairs neighbor is always taking his trash out whenever I am. It may seem like an innocent coincidence but the pinpoint accuracy of his timing is terrifying. I had a neighbor like this once. If I decided to mow the lawn. Before I'd hit the halfway mark he would be mowing his lawn. Shoveling or snow blowing my driveway. Same thing. Walk to the mailbox. He'd be on the way to checking his. Semicolon. So. One day. I just randomly got up on my roof and walked around slowly while keeping an eye on his house. After 10 or 15 minutes. Nothing. So I climbed down and stowed the ladder. Taking one last look over before going inside. There's the Sonofra bitch up on his roof. No idea what was going on there. A guy named Sybald. He straight up smelled like tuna all the time. He'd come knock on our door to ask for random things in his robe. A rubber band. An apple slicer. A door stop. Like probably once a week. My bedroom door faced his kitchen and sometimes I'd look over and see him laying on the floor. It was bizarre. Dude's just running side quests. My wife and I had a neighbor in the apartment complex we used to live in that we called creepy guy. He had some mental disorder. And would roam the complex all day doing his snooping. He once got caught by one of our neighbors cracking the front door open to peek in. When I would leave in the morning. He would come running out of his apartment to see who was leaving. Bottom floor was part way underground. So your windows would be at ground level. If you didn't keep your blinds closed he would peek in your windows. Maintenance would catch him going into empty apartments that they would be working on. Final straw was my wife goes to check the mail. 
the mailboxes are all together in a central location in the complex. He had followed her to and from the mailboxes wearing a thick leather jacket and 90 degree heat. My wife reported it and management finally decided to evict him. The rest of his time there he would walk around saying hostile things about apartment management. I reviewed discovery for an attorney. There was a neighbor dispute where one neighbor had terrorized the other. After being asked to keep it down. He would run equipment like a small backhoe. And four wheelers and laugh and play music and taunt them late into the morning. So I have to watch this video from shot from inside the good neighbor's house. Children crying. Mother panicking. Four wheeler whizzing by at 4 a.m. By 6 a.m. the dude is hammered and banging the bucket of this backhoe on the ground making this really loud clanking noise. The mother good neighbor shouts at him that he needs help he's gone too far this is too far and he laughs and says I'm not done. Then this moth earthka ran equipment ts hammer till like 8 a.m. He was using a backhoe and loader and clearing trees and brush on this property that's like directly behind these people. When I was young and broke. I lived next to an apartment full of Listerine bums. I opened the door to one of them plowing the other in the hallway. I shti you not. The smell was still in the air hours later. Old guy that lived next door when I was young. Would shower in the backyard. Would buy goats to do his lawn. Eventually he stopped buying goats and would just set the lawn on fire. Whoa. I once lived next to a guy who'd run out. Stand on his porch and strip naked when he saw me. Had a neighbor who was always drunk. He shot and killed his dad. While drunk of course. One of only two murders in my small hometown in Nebraska. There was this old lady who used to go down to the end of our street and holler down an old railroad tunnel. She would do this for at least an hour most days. I didn't realize she was saying actual words until I'd lived there for 6 months. She's probably not the weirdest but that was weird. About 15 years back we had neighbors who broke in our house when we were asleep and they took a lot of valuables. They were a weird bunch. We lived across a school and one day the wife came running out towards the school. She got chased by her son who dragged her back inside by the hair. I remember that my little sister was scared of the idea of being home alone for the first time. When that day came. Six policemen with drawn weapon jumped over our fence to deal with whatever the neighbors did this time. When I was about 10 this family moved into my old neighborhood. They were strange right from the start. Nobody ever saw their faces except for brief glances in passing. And if the kids were outside and you happened to pass by they'd run back in and lock the doors. There was never any sign of life coming from the house aside from the occasional flick of a curtain. My friends and I tried trick or treating there and they opened their letterbox, there on the doors here, to stare out at us. They didn't go to any of the local schools and you never saw them get any deliveries or go to get groceries. He was a drug dealer who obsessed with my mum. To the point where if he came out into his garden we all went inside the house. He stole my harmonica and got his spit all in it. My dad punched him a few times for being a creep. But one day my dad was carrying me around the garden just having fun with me. And the neighbor made a resolute comment about my mum in front of me. And I was old enough to comprehend that I didn't understand tf he said. So when I asked my dad what he meant, the neighbor looked me up and down. And said asai I'll understand when you're older and winked at me, I was like. 4. My dad went mad. We ultimately moved out and 14 years later we all still collectively hate him. Pretty sure my dad wants him dead under mysterious circumstances. Never really knew them outside of being woken up by them at 6. 30 am every Sunday morning by the minibus that picked them up for church arriving. Everyone on it would sing hymns on the side of the road until the neighbors came out to get on the bus and drive away. Then when they were evicted for not paying rent there was a cat in their freezer. This went from 0 to 100 real quick. NSFW, sorry lol. I used to live in a townhouse. We had a small puggle dog. I put him on the leash in the backyard while I went upstairs to get ready. The way our backyards were. They were a small grass area lined up right next to our neighbors on each side. 
I hear my dog barking for a minute. And then stop randomly. Usually when he was ready to come inside. He would continue to bark until we opened the door. So him not barking anymore triggered me to look out the window. And there I see it. Our neighbor kid. Probably between 7 and 10 years old. With his pants down. In my backyard. Making my dog lick his penis. In broad daylight. I was so shocked. I couldn't move. It haunted me for years. About 6 years later. There is a news article about a teenager that got arrested for bestiality. S all relations between a human being and a lower animal. From the same city this happened. I have a gut feeling it was him. The guy across the hall was a cop. His wife was a nudist and their son would smoke meth that the cop took from evidence. MMMM Texas. I once lived next door to a couple that. Come to find out. Had scammed their way into renting their house and never paid a single month's rent the entire time they lived there. They would scream and fight in the street all night. Swearing and throwing empty beer bottles at each other until I had to call the cops. This continued for about 6 or 7 months until they finally got evicted. But I will never forget the time that I was home alone on a Sunday evening and heard blood curdling screaming coming from inside their house. Turns out the husband had invited a female childhood friend and her 6 year old daughter to stay with them while the friend got clean. Apparently the wife didn't vibe with this and as I learned from the police after the fact. Sliced up her own arms with a kitchen knife and then attacked the friend in front of the 6 year old kid. I watched the police carry the kid out of the house. Never seen such an insane amount of blood in my life. I lived in an apartment with a pretty weird guy upstairs. Like one time he slid a note under my door saying he was going to kill me. My roommate. And my dog. One time he had like 6 large fries from McDonald's and tripped and dropped them in our parking lot and just sat down and ate them off the ground like it was a plate. The best one though. He left one day in a suit which was so out of place. My roommate was like where do you think he's going in a suit? Full stop. Like an hour later he came back carrying a caricature of himself wearing the suit and proceeded to hang it in the hallway outside his apartment. Me and my roommate found that a never ending source of joy for quite a while. When I was a kid I lived in a subdivision of about 20 houses. 4 houses away. A 30 year old man who lived with his mother was arrested for molesting 2 8 year old in boys in town. When he was let out of jail his mother had to go to each house and let the neighbors know what he was convicted of and that he was moving back in with her. When she came to our house my mom answered and the woman went on a rant about how rude it was that all the neighbors basically told her if they see her son anywhere close to their children they'd shoot him. After that she called the police on everyone who walked past their house saying they were being threatened. You know that river rock people use in landscaping? I'm talking about the 2 inch ones they cover the ground under the bushes with. We had a neighbor who regularly cleaned his rocks with a shop vac. My mom and I live next to a very old lady and her elderly adult son. One day she asks us if my mom and I will take possession of her pet cockatiel. Sammy. Because her son is abusing the bird. I still have to stop myself from thinking about this old guy. Doing unimaginable things to this little yellow bird. My backdoor neighbor's kid got high a few years ago. He tied up his parents in the living room. Got a knife. Stripped naked. And repeatedly yelled. I will find my center. When the cops were attempting to invade his house to free his parents. He let them go. And they ran out of the house with him following. It took several cops and paramedics to take him down with tasers. I don't walk down his street anymore.